Starting off with the push-up hold and the lateral arm raise. The main thing is that you want to keep the hips nice and stable. Do not let them rotate. And so you can see my legs are actually spread out pretty far so that I have a better base of stability so that I can reach my arm up without rotating at the hips. This is key. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, just simply bring the feet closer together. Skater jump is a great cardio exercise. Basically, you just want to be landing softly from one leg to the next. You can actually put the back leg down just for increased stability. Jump up high, get out far, keep it quick. These lying lateral leg raises are tougher than they look. You really want to emphasize pointing the top toe down, lead with that top heel, and you should be feeling it right in the side of the glute, basically right to the side of the hip bone. First off, you really want to keep your back nice and tight. You want to be pushing out those knees. So you want to get a nice rigid position. But then you want to focus on relaxing your breath, deep inhale through the nose, full exhale through the mouth, and just take your mind somewhere else. Just stay relaxed mentally while physically you are pushing and challenging yourself in the squat hold. These are your forward or your walking lunges. Now if you have the space, of course you can turn this into a walking lunge where you step and keep moving forward. Although if you don't have the space, just make it an alternating forward lunge. Now as you can see on the top left, you can also progress this movement just by holding on to some external weights like dumbbells or kettlebells. Main thing is that you just want to stay nice and tall and do not allow the front knee to go over the toes. These are tough to do. The most important thing is just to maintain the form, keep the chest up, and then again, don't let the front knee go over the front toe. Superman hold constitutes that you're on your stomach and basically you're going to be raising up everything as high as you can except of course your hips. So keep those arms straight, keep those toes pointed down and the main areas you're going to feel the contraction are the back of the shoulders and the glutes. So focus on holding at the top at the peak contraction for at least one second.
Bent over lateral raise is one of those exercises that's really gonna benefit from holding onto something. Now, of course, you can still do this body weight and just focus on the peak contraction in the top of the shoulders as you're bent over. Although, I'm sure you can find something else in the house, whether it's soup cans, jugs of water to hold onto, and you don't need much. Two to five pounds is about it. So just bend over, keep that back tight, and flare out those arms off to the side as high as you can reach. Big squeeze in those shoulder blades. You want to keep the body really, really tight and rigid. All the while focusing on just a nice easy breath in from the nose onto the mouth. And again, just take your mind somewhere else as the whole body is squeezing and fighting to keep this position solid. Now you can also make this and regress this a little bit easier by going down to your elbow. 